Leadership for me means the act of guiding people, being able to articulate your vision or the organization's vision and mission. Where, you, where are we trying to go? Why are we going there? What kind of tools are you providing to the people that you're guiding or leading to be able to get to the final destination? How are you motivating the people that you're leading? A lot of employees do not leave bad companies. They leave bad managers. And that has been proven time and time again. And if leadership is not very clearly defined in an organization, it doesn't matter how good the talent that you bring in is, they will not stay. So it is very critical to be very clear on the difference between being a leader, being a boss, being a manager, right? If you have a good leader, it is very possible that you will be able to retain a lot of your talent. If you have a good leader, it is possible that even the talent that leaves will still be able to be your brand ambassadors out there. But a bad leader can, in essence, ruin your brand. And a lot of organizations don't think about it that way. Being self-aware is important. Um, what are the things that you did that worked? And why did they work? You, you need to be able to audit that. What are some of the things that you did that did not work? Especially when it came to, to leadership in, in this aspect, right? If the things you did were positive, is that something that you need to continue doing? And what are they? Is it transparency in your communication? Is it recognition of your employees? Is it being very clear in your vision um, or the goals? Is it very clear in feedback to the employees? So going back again to my initial point, if you don't practice clear communication, clear feedback, fairness, um, then a lot of your people will not be with you or will not stay with you. I think my parting shot for leaders or upcoming leaders is one, identify mentors who are some of the best leaders that you know of and what are some of the things that they have done that you can pick from or borrow from right or that speak to you it is also important for leaders to continuously keep learning and keep evolving um, what worked five years ago is not going to work right now um, and if it won't so what what do you need to change for it to work moving forward it is also very important to practice self-introspection be open to feedback both positive feedback and critical feedback and be willing to change depending on the situation or the feedback and then finally keep trying you will find a leadership style that works